Dear yeah. friends, you got to look at it the other way. You got to look at it in understanding that all of this, everything that happens, is a misinterpretation. A misinterpretation of what it really is. A misunderstanding of the perfectness, the realness of whatever it is. So therefore, we're seeing an illusion of what it really is. I see you as a body. I see me as a body. That's not what I really am. Therefore, what I am seeing is a mask, is an illusion, is something over on top of what I really am, what I truly, honestly am, and everything else. All this danger that you think you see and that you think you perceive as danger is misinterpreted. For God would not put us in that situation. God would not harm us. Would not want us to be in a position of harm at all. So how could we say that something, this situation that I'm in, is harmful? Or that problem that could come is harmful? How could you say that? God is not harmful. God would not harm you. How could you say, how could you say that God would do that to you? You know, either, either God isn't doing that to you, either God isn't here directing us, or you're misinterpreting for what it really is. You're misinterpreting it for its true nature it's true peace, just like you're seeing me as a body. When I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. It's that simple. Yeah, I say simple. That didn't sound simple. So, is that what they're always talking about in this book? True vision, seeing the true light. Seeing it how for what it really is. It's not the light that you see with your eyes and your body. It's not the light you, your body sees, your body perceives. It's not that at all. It's true vision, true interpretation, true perception. For the only thing that can be ill is perception. So if the only thing that can be ill is perception, then everything else can't be. Right? So if it's not ill, it's good. It's perfect. It's healthy. Is that the opposite of ill? It's perfect. So you interpreting the world as dangerous as harmful.